whenever I do this kind of stuff, whether it's busking or like a little pop-up, but it's like, you know, obviously it's amazing when people who know my music come and support, but I think it's more about inviting people who maybe don't know me to like find out who I am. Okay, it's the other way, so why don't we go... I'm still figuring this yeah, out. This six is 6, six right? Six yeah. Why don't we go right on 6 and come back down? Okay. Do you film a lot in the street? Oh, uh, yes. Do you and like no. it? I do. I always feel really like... I think I always get more nervous when I'm in the street. about doing a pop-up concert like it's kind of like one of the most intimate ways to give out your music oh um, i like it it's more like busking so it's like for me it feels like, like it's off the cuff it's like it's a surprise i like announcing it on the day because also like the aim for me is not to get like you know loads of people the aim for me is obviously to invite people who know me but also to bring in hopefully some new people yeah so I think it just I think it depends on what you're trying to achieve. kind of giving like pieces of yourself to people like since your songs are so like personal is it hard to do like when you first did it you say you don't like people staring at you no i hate people staring at me i've never been good at that though but no i but i've always found it really easy to be really honest and open mm -hmm. i think i just thrive doing that so we're gonna go right here right so i think i've just like always kind of thrived doing that and like yeah, just being like 100% myself with everybody. And I think it was only natural that I kind of did that in my music, you know? So, do you still get nervous? I mean, you've been doing this since like 2015, earlier than that? I don't know, do I? Yeah, yes, I do. But I just, I still get nervous in like certain settings. Okay. So like, if it's like a big thing that like a lot of people are talking about or like something that I'm really excited for, then I still get really nervous. Yeah, you've got one. Oh. Yeah, because right. then I can get the, I can push a bit. Alright. Every time. Every time. Of course we're doing this on the hottest day. <laughs> like 95 degrees out here, sweating, walking. So I don't know what 95 degrees means. Uh, but it's 35. 30, 30, yeah. 30 Celsius. So whenever someone's like to me, it's going to be 100, I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Fine, huh? Yeah, yeah, a little bit for sure. It's a little walk. I don't mind a little. I don't mind a little glow. So I think it's just here on the left. Should be crossed out. Yeah. I'm gonna run in and grab a juice. Okay. What inspired you to name your album IRL? 
Well, obviously, IRL means in real life, and I think because it was an album that, that came from lockdown, like from the pandemic, I think it just made sense for me to like, I think I just wanted in real life experiences again. And obviously not being able to have that for all that time. Because I think for us in the UK, it ended up being close to a year of like not really getting to like, you know, do normal stuff. I mean, it was definitely two years in total, but the first year was pretty intense. So I think when I was making the record, I just, the record is just about all of my IRL experiences over the last three years, really. And it just felt like the perfect title to be able to kind of talk about anything, you know. Hollywood made me think it was simple I took it too literal Now I understand huh. I thought you were growing up Thought we'd have a real romance, baby But all I got was plastic plans I've got something inside me yeah. I you played the role of Dea and Brotherhood I did <laughs> How is it acting? Is it something you wish to like further pursue? It definitely is. Acting is a acting is a different beast. I think um, I think people always assume that if you're like an artist, you'll be good at that. Um, I I definitely when I was younger, I really wanted a career in acting. Um, probably before I wanted a career in music, I think acting was like my first love. Uh, but I don't know. It's scary. It's super scary, like playing different roles because obviously my whole life. I don't, I don't think I'm ever playing a character. I think sometimes you can have artists who like are very different on stage to how they are at home, whereas I'm very much the same person. So I'm always playing myself, you know? So I think I would probably find it quite hard, but I would I would love to try it. Sure. I just don't know if I'd be that good. Did you train for that role? Did you do any classes or did you just show up? I didn't. I was, I had a song that the director wanted for the, for the film. And he said to me, he basically asked me if I wanted to be in the film. Sure. And I was like, uh, and I was like, I was like 17. I was like, I'm not sure. But he, I think for him, it was like, you know, the role suits you. I know that you act, would you like to try it? And it was, it, it was, it was a super small part. So it was a nice way to just start. But I was so young that I think I just let nerves take over, you know? <laughs> I haven't protected like this in hey, forever. Okay. Give a shout out. Like Ice cold water. water. I got it right okay. here. Okay. I got one for you. Thank you. Okay. You got it? I got it. Thank you. You swear you're innocent. That's not the case. Uh, any message that you would want to give to anybody like on the come up, anybody on a similar path, younger you? Um. I would say like, to be totally honest, I would say that this industry definitely isn't for the faint hearted. Um, I think you have to really know what you're getting yourself into. And not just about the kind of logistical side of things or like the contractual side of things, but just the emotional side of it too. You know, it's kind of, it's, it's definitely not an easy thing being an artist and like, and like living as an artist and I think you have to really know that you want to do it and you have to love it and your love for it has to be the first thing and the reason why you do it. Um, because I think if I didn't love this, you know, with all the battles that can come with being an artist, I don't think I would have stuck around because because I think if you don't have the love for it, then how do you stay, right. you know? Similar to a relationship. If you don't really love that person, when you're going through all this shit, how, like, how do you stay around, you know? so. I think you just have to love everything that you do. But I would say any advice, I would just say get yourself out there. Obviously it's a very different musical industry climate to what it was like what, what, when I was coming up, but I've always stuck by the fact that I think, you know, things change, social media changes, it goes, it comes, the apps change, what's popular last year isn't popular this year. So you have to just, I think you have to be consistent in getting your name out there and getting yourself out there. Feel it. I'm gonna see if this works. Yeah. I'm gonna sing a line, you're gonna sing a line. <laughs> but now you can't get away from it, okay? So, Jesus. I don't know how you guys deal with this here. Okay, we're gonna go. Around the chorus, this should work. We're gonna go. Once a cheat, always a cheat. Two, three, four. Once a cheat, always a cheat. 
That's why I don't believe in what you're um, saying to me. What are some me. new things that you're looking to do? New goals, anything you're looking to explore? <gasps> you're going to hate me for this answer, but I don't have any goals. Sure. So, uh, my, my, I don't know, I think I've always been a kind of roll with the punches kind of girl. And like, I, I just, I don't know, like every time I, anytime something great happens, I kind of have a moment of saying, how did I get here? Like, I, I just... I enjoy life that way, you know? So I, I try not to set myself goals, not because I don't have any ideas, but because I don't enjoy living that way. I don't enjoy like looking ahead that much. I used to a lot. And then I think what would happen was if I didn't reach those goals, I was disappointed. So now I think I just try and live and just hope that things are great I think my only goal genuinely is that I don't lose my mind whilst doing this right, you know <laughs> yeah let me introduce myself properly though it's clear you already heard about me when he told you about the breakup did he blame me huh did he tell you I was crazy but did he tell you all the times that he broke my heart and broke my mind nah I bet he didn't I bet he told you that he isn't bad. Uh, what about your um, most fun moment in New York? Like, well, what's the super significant moment or fun moment that you can remember as an artist? I think it was my first ever show here. First ever show was at SOBs. And I think I was just, I think I was probably a bit scared because SOBs, to me, obviously not being from here, has always, well, I've always known it as being an extremely iconic New York venue. And it almost felt like a rite of passage. Like when you come here for the first time, it's like the venue that everybody does. So I was excited about that. And like that, that show was, I think it was the first time that I got to really understand that, that like I have an audience here. And I think when you see that for the first time, it's always incredible, you know, just knowing that your music has traveled in that way. So I think that was my favorite time. <laughs> Take a picture, just say hi or whatever, have a hug, whatever. I'm here. Um, I'm just gonna have a sip of water and I'm gonna do that. But let's go. Thank you.